this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This DC Channel Guns coming at you with some more gun news. I appreciate you for watching the video. Appreciate you coming and checking out the channel. Um, appreciate all my subscribers and everything. Um, if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button. Share the video. Hit the like button. Now, you've seen the title. Taurus G2C. Glock Killer. And I'm going to explain some things, the reason why I say it's a Glock Killer. And this gun is not an accident by Taurus. Now, you got a lot of companies out there, you know, building a gun around the magazine. They do, they're just doing all kinds of stuff. But, you know, Taurus took a piece of the puzzle out of Glock Playbook. And they can, they're going to, they have an opportunity to build on top of this gun. Now, I had went to gun shops. This gun is flying off the shelves. And I'm talking about literally flying off the shelves. You're getting this gun for under $200. A good, reliable gun, high capacity and everything. Now, you can use this gun for some of everything. Now, I use this gun for everything. Now, I use this gun for open carry and my Safari Land 578. I want to open carry and stuff on my property and stuff like that. You can use it for that. Um, you can also use this gun for um, concealed carry. I have the concealed carry holster here, alien gear, that I can conceal carry with it pretty much all the time. Uh, you know, this gun here is a very awesome gun. Now, the reason why I have this detail laid out with the magazine is because I wanted to show you what Taurus... And this gun is not an accident now because Taurus really thought about this gun. Now, you know the PT-111 came out, had a safety problem. Taurus got rid of that. They got rid of the safety that people didn't like. Now, you still have a safety up there, but they had that little trigger lock on the slide that nobody liked, I didn't like. Now, when you look at capacity, now the G2C is between the Glock 26 and the Glock 19. Now, I own both guns. Now, the Glock 26 holds 10 rounds plus one in the head is 11 rounds. That's standard. That's, standard. that's not adding no pinky grip, none of that, extension, none of that. I'm talking about standard Glock magazine for the 26 is 11 rounds. That's 10 in the magazine and one in the chamber. Now, when you look at the, the Glock 19, it comes standard with 15 rounds plus one in the chamber is 16 rounds. Now, let's look at the Taurus. Now, the Taurus is 12 in the magazine and one in the chamber. That's 13 rounds. That's three rounds less than the Glock 19. But look at it. You have an even smaller gun that's pretty much competing against the Glock 26. And there's a lot of other guns that Taurus is, is competing against out there. Now, when you look at that, that is an awesome deal. Because you're in between the Glock 19 and the Glock 26. Now, Taurus also went as further, um, also took some of the features such, such as the breakdown feature. You see this right here? They got the takedown lever so you can just easily pull back the gun, take the slide off. You just pull it back, pull that down, everybody know how it works. So they took that feature. They also have this little trigger safety here that you must match this to pull the trigger. They took that from Glock. Now, when it comes to this safety feature here, I'm going to talk about that because the Taurus can go a little bit further with this gun. If Taurus got rid of this right here, if they just got rid of that, um, that'll be awesome. Now, I know they put this as a safety feature, but if Taurus can expand on taking this one off, taking this safety lock off for the trigger so you can't fire it, that'll be an awesome deal. And also, one more thing that Taurus can do making a ambidextrous slide release. If Taurus can make an ambidextrous slide release on this gun, um, this gun will be a very awesome gun. It'll be good for left-handers and right-handers. Now, you can already reverse the magazine release button. You can already reverse that. I have mine set because I'm left-handed. You know, Taurus can expand on this thing. Um, to my day, they can, they can really do some stuff. Um, your Glock 26 don't have no area where you can put a light on it. Taurus got one we can put a light on it. Like I said, the gun is awesome, and Taurus have room to expand to make this gun very 
I'm talking about a, a very powerful um, uh, demand in the gun community. And so um, just want to talk about that. Now, like I said before, it's a budget gun. And, you know, it gets its criticism. People talk about the trigger and stuff like that. I have no problem with the trigger. Trigger don't bother me whatsoever. What you need to do is get out and train. I don't care what farm you get. I don't care the name of it. I don't care how much you pay for it. The key is to get out and train with that weapon. You need to understand that weapon. And once you train with it, understand it, then guess what? Everything else will work itself out. So I don't want to keep this video, make this video too long. So this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe, share the video, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.